Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. Today we're gonna to make a beautiful, easy chili with venison. So I got a 1.25 pounds of venison, and then I got the secret weapon, some Jimmy Dean's pork sausage. So I'm gonna show you guys how to make this really fast. It's easy, it's quick, it's not too expensive, and it's a family favorite. Let's get stuck in. All you gotta do is click the description below. I'll put all the ingredients that I used. This Jimmy Dean sausage, you don't have to use it if you don't want to. I just like to add it for some extra flavor. And then any of these other items, you can substitute for any of them. I like to add the garlic, the onions, peppers, and then lots of tomatoes. I like to have a nice thick chili. And uh, and then these toppers, you can add chives, you can add you know green onions, whatever you want. So I said this is an easy recipe, so I'm just going with the pre-made packets. My kids don't like real hot stuff, so this is a mild chili, and uh, it's very easy on the palate. All right, go ahead and brown your venison, and then throw in your Jimmy Dean's pork sausage, brown that, stirring it vigorously. Make sure it doesn't stick to the pan. Once that's going, throw in your fresh garlic, Give that a little stir. Fresh pepper, vigorously. Lots of pepper, I like a lot of pepper. And then throw in some salt to taste. Give it a good stir. All right, looks pretty good. Coarsely chop up a green pepper and then coarsely chop up whatever onion flavor you prefer. Go ahead and dump your meat in the crock pot. Dump your onion. Dump your green pepper. Throw in your diced tomatoes. Throw in your rotel. Throw in your beans, red beans, black beans. Put in some sauce, and then some paste just to thicken it up a little bit. Add your chili powder. And then give it a good mix. And then we're gonna put it on high for four hours. All right, now that everything's assembled in the crock pot, we gotta wait four hours. So what we're gonna do in an hour is I'm gonna stir it real good because it's real thick right now. All those veggies, they gotta, they gotta cook down. They'll release the water and it'll get more soupier, so it'll stir up a lot easier. I don't know if you noticed when I was stirring, it was real thick. I do it that way because I know those veggies are gonna break down. We got more paste if we need it. We can thicken the sauce up. And then I like to finish it with some corn at the end. Just adds a little bit of a crunch to it. You don't have to cook the corn, you just add it in at the end. It gives a little crunchiness to it. The only thing left to do is have a cold beer. It's Rona season, and wait. All right, so we've been cooking for four hours. We'll go ahead and check it out. So people always ask, well, how do you know it's done? So the meat is already cooked, we browned it, right? So we just gotta wait for our veggies to cook down. And it's real soupy, maybe a little too thin. So we can take some of this tomato paste, we can add it to it. And stir that in, and that'll help thicken up the sauce a little bit. Make it a little thicker. And I like to add corn to my chili. So you don't have to add corn, but if you like corn, I drain the can. So add it in at the end. Stir it up. This chili looks perfect. It's thickened up. It smells great. Oh, I can't wait.
I've been looking forward to this. Mmm. It's really good. The veggies are still kind of crispy and crunchy. The meat's perfectly cooked. Awesome bowl of chili. Thanks for watching this episode of Cooking with the Pollock, and we'll see you on the next one. Peace. Mm -hmm.